What is up guys, Aiden here from Launch TV. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're discussing the newest addition to the lineup of houses coming to HHN 30 as well as in addition to the lineup in HHN Hollywood. We'll dive into the announcement and more after the intro. And you guys heard me correctly, we have a new house being added to the HHN lineup. That is the Haunting of Hill House. Now this was no surprise to any of us, it's been rumored for about two and a half years now. I want to say we speculated about this back for HHN 29, and well we got Stranger Things instead. Now we finally get the opportunity to walk into the Haunting of Hill House. Now it has been about two years since the show has released. so. The popularity kind of has declined, however, don't let that stir you away from the fact that this can possibly be one of the scariest houses they're going to put on. And speaking of scary, did you guys see that trailer for this announcement? If not, I'm going to roll it. Now was I right or was I right? That is a terrifying trailer slash video, however you want to put it. That was executed perfectly. They couldn't have done it better. Now, the first time I watched Hill House, to me, it was a very slow burn. It didn't feel as if it was going to be good. But after the turn, I want to say it was like episode four or five. I don't know, I have to go and rewatch it now. You have to go do your HHN homework. If you don't do your HHN homework, you're weird. HHN homework, if you don't know what it is, is re-watching everything or watching everything that's coming to the event that year. That way you're prepared for it and you can know what to look forward to because you are walking into these movies slash TV shows. So that's your HHN homework. Anyways, got a little bit off topic there, but this sounds phenomenal. Now granted, we have a very stacked rumored lineup for this year's event being this based off of everything we've seen, the trailer, the house photos, oh yeah, there's house photos, we'll get to those. And the description, this house sounds great, but to me, the lineup sounds amazing. So if I'm being quite honest, this house will be my sleeper for this year's event, but it's not on my most anticipated houses because we have things that are rumored that are tied into anniversaries or tied into like icons. So those are the things I look forward to the most. Anyways, back on topic, the house itself, they're basically putting you right into the movie. Excuse me, I'm sorry, but I'm going to be putting a spoiler warning in about five seconds. We will be putting a picture of the facade for this house and gosh, it is beautiful. It is probably one of the nicest facades I've seen. It reminds me of Gothic. I never was able to do Gothic, but the lighting for this is just immaculate. And there's actually an Easter egg. So in the Haunting of Hill House, in almost every single frame, there's a hidden ghost. In this facade, there's a hidden ghost. I'm pretty sure it's Annabelle. I could be wrong. I believe that was her name. Like I said, I have to go back and rewatch the show. But they, had a, they have a hidden ghost right there. And that won't be the only ghost you're gonna experience in this house according to the press release. We have the bent neck lady and the tall man or the boulder hat guy, whatever you wanna call him. The man in the walls, the ghost in the walls. You guys know what I'm talking about? And then the ghost in the basement. Now that ghost in the basement is gonna be terrifying. But what I'm most curious to know is how they're gonna execute the bent neck lady. 
Will it be a bungee scare similar to what we had with Monsters when we had Quasimodo go up and down on the lift? Will it be just a actor that comes out every so often? They have been saying this is going to be unlike any haunted house. Well, not unlike any haunted house, but it's not going to be your typical Halloween Horror Nights house where they're going to get you with big scares right away. They're going to build and escalate, kind of how the show does. So it's going to be a slow burn at first, and then you're going to get into those haunts. Now, there will be scares throughout the house, don't get me wrong, but the more you get into it, the scarier it gets, leading up to a big finale, according to what they're saying. Now, this can be one of the best houses if I'm being quite honest. I know I said it's my not really high on my anticipation list, but it's because of all the other competition. But this house can possibly be house of the year potential based on the facade, the set design, and everything. And speaking of that set design, they also put out more pictures from inside the house, and it's just beautiful. You can go down to the door for the red room, and you enter the red room where it drives people crazy where all you hear is your own voice and well you know what I'm saying you hear your own voice and it drives you insane you hear voices you see these ghosts and it's just going to bring you into the story in a whole new way if I can compare this house to any house that I walk through myself just off of set design and off of what I've heard I'd have to say Insidious from HHN 25 is possibly the most likely to be comparable to this and that's just off of set design and all that, not going through the house because obviously we haven't gone through the house yet, but it's a really well executed house. For example, the Ins Insidious wasn't that high on my anticipation list for 25, but ended up being one of my favorite houses at 25. See what we're talking about here? So I am beyond excited for this house. How do you guys feel about the haunting of Hill House? Do you think it came too late? Do you think we're going to see Bly Manor in the future? Who knows? If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below whatever you guys want to say. Want to talk about Hill House? We talk about Hill House. If you guys want to tell me some things you want me to do soon, let me know. Subscribe if you guys already haven't done so. And stay excellent, my dudes. Ah, you know what I forgot to talk about? Weird. I don't know. There's merch. I went down and checked out the merch. Yeah. I'll play it on the screen right now. If you guys are still watching, subscribe. See you guys soon. Peace. Love you.